How's it going everyone? Hope you're having a stupendous day. For this video, I will be going over how to separate your game audio, mic audio, and chat audio for your stream. Just to be clear, this is for streaming to a second computer with a capture card. I'm using an Elgato HD60 capture card, but this should work for you even if you're using a different one. <laughs> First off, you will need to download and install Voice Meter Banana. Now it's donationware, so you don't necessarily have to pay for it. However, I do suggest donating a few dollars to them if you do enjoy their software. In my previous video, I showed how to separate your chat audio from your shadow play using virtual audio cable. I suggest doing this for this situation as well, and you can download it from the same site. The link will be down in the description below. Once these two programs are installed, you should first go into your chat settings, such as for Discord, and set the output device to the cable input. Now it's time to set up everything through Voice Meter Banana. My input 1 is set for my headset microphone. All you have to do is select it from the drop down menu. My input 2 is my desktop audio, which is the game audio, and then my input 3 is the chat audio. So the cable output will be what you have set for input 3. As for the desktop audio, you may come into a problem because you select a drag down. There may not be an actual option there for your desktop audio. What I had to do was go to the Realtek website and download and install their stereo mix. It's fairly straightforward. You find either the 32-bit or 64-bit version, whichever one you need, and download and install it. I also suggest going into your control panel and finding sound and making sure that the correct devices are set to default. This is something that I forgot to mention in the previous video. For example, when you download and install the virtual audio cable, sometimes it becomes the default. So I had to go in there and make sure that my microphone was set to the default communications device and the regular default device. You may also have to go into the playback tab and make sure the right device is selected there as well. Once that's all complete, you can finish setting up your channels and voice meter banana. Now we can set up the audio to be transferred to the capture card from the voice meter software. I have my capture card set on A1. All you have to do is click it, find which capture card is yours, and select it. Now that the capture card is set to A1, any input device that has A1 selected will transfer whatever audio that is coming through it to the capture card. In my previous video, I mentioned that you could go into the sound tab and set the cable output so that you could always hear the Discord audio. However, you can now turn that off as this can be done with the voice meter banana in the same way that we have just set up to send the audio to our capture card. As you can see, I not only have the Discord audio on input 3 set to be sent to my capture card, but it will also go to my headset as well. If you have it set up this way, you won't hear any audio from Discord unless voice meter is already running. I have it set to begin at startup along with the macro buttons. Now I'm pretty sure you don't have to download anything extra for voice meter to have this option to use macro buttons, but I end up using it to uh, mute chat audio on the fly. So as you can see here, I only have two macros set up. One is to mute my mic entirely, which mutes it from the stream. And then this one right here is to simply mute the Discord audio from the stream itself. This does not completely mute the input, otherwise I would no longer be able to hear the people in Discord. What I'm showing you here will turn off the A1 option for input 3. This will prevent Discord audio from going to the stream, but it still allows it to go to my headset. When it comes to adjusting the audio levels, that's something you're going to have to play with on your end. You could do some test streams and get some help from a viewer or a friend in order to help you balance out the audio. You could also use macros to adjust audio levels of each input individually if you wanted to. Anyway, that's what I have for today. My next video will be covering how to set up voice meter to allow you to adjust your chat audio and mic audio for shadow play. This will allow you to balance the in-game audio along with your mic and chat audio when recording with Shadowplay itself. So with that being said, I'll catch you next time. Ram tight out.